If you see the blue light, hey everybody. On. All right, going over here. On. I got two ons, but I'm not seeing what I should be seeing. If you can hear me, let me know you can hear me in the comments. We are coming to you live from uh, my Facebook page. Why is that? Well, because they change the rules as they always do. Let's see here. I can see me. We are coming to you. I got sound. I gave myself a thumbs up there. Did you see that? That is so I could see your comments. That is so I could see me. And that is so you could see me. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Friday night. It's time for the Friday night warno. Don't worry. This isn't like a CB warno. This is just a, a natural, relaxing, calming warno. Warno, in military parlance, also known as a warning order, usually comes in on Friday night and screws up your entire weekend. Uh, this is not that. This is built on that premise, but it basically just tells you what's going on this weekend. We chit chat for the length of one beer. I had some friends over recently, and I take them to my beer fridge, which I am proud of. I'm proud of my beer fridge. I've got a big old beautiful fridge, and it's got an ice dispenser crushed and cubed. It's got water that works. Uh, it, and it's got a, a ver what I thought to believe. Oh, oh, you're here, but you don't move to the front of the row, young lady. But you're here. Right now, I'm talking about my beer fridge. My Pennsylvania beer fridge. I'm proud of it. Uh, what is it mostly stocked with? The beer I drink the most. What have I? What else do I got in there? I got some classic. Uh, she's on the fields. You know, you're probably going to miss most of this, but uh, check me out later. What's in the beer fridge, Tone? Let me tell you. I, I got Nasser Azzurro. I got to have it. It's my beer. It's the beer I drink. Uh, next to that, I got some stupid IPA with a a dog on it, you know, tastes like grapefruit. I don't know why they put grapefruit in all the IPAs. Uh, beer fridge, Warno, always do. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you. You are a valued member of the audience. No kidding. And uh, and I enjoy making you laugh. And I think I did a lot of that today because there wasn't else anything else going on. So back to the beer fridge. Don't get off point. I'll come back to the comments. Well, we do have tequila. Well, yeah, yes. We have that cucumber and jalapeno tequila. Ooh. Merely for show. Uh, beer fridge. Nasa Azzurro. Some IPA with a dog face on it that tastes like grapefruit. Good old fashioned Paps Blue Ribbon. Yingling. I think that's all I have. I got some Schmirnoff ices. I got some chilled wines. It's a big fridge. It's got a nice selection. So I thought. Until we uh, did some interviews this week, uh, last weekend with Ray and Will. Ray Hensley, a uh, comedian out of Indianapolis, very funny young man. Will C. Uh, I, I forgot where Will was from for a second there. Will C. out of Kansas City, internationally renowned actor, comedian, entrepreneur, great guy, great guy. Started to hear a grovel in my voice that just wanted to come to the top all of a sudden. Crooked Joe, great guy, Will C. I I freaking don't know. <laughs> um, but apparently, according to them, my beer fridge is lacking in diversity. I needed more beer in the beer fridge. So tonight, as I was preparing for this, uh, I got a little sidetracked because of that. Uh, you don't understand. When you're dealing with green screens, there's a lot of issues. Wrinkles is your number one issue. Lighting is your number two issue. And they're one and two right next to each other. There's no close third. So I think I, this is going to be a solution for something that's been bugging me. That makes me super excited. And I got toying around on that. Plus, my friend in Norway, Tegan. Wait, my friend in Norway, Tegan. She, uh, she said something earlier today that uh, I was like, it's three hours away. But I said that at 3.30 instead of at 3, so that's why we're doing it at 6.30 instead of 6. I was caught up with that, and I told Tegan it would be in 3 hours. 
Speaking of Tegan, hmm. <sighs> Shudders of disappointment. <sighs> Tegan believes that the government of Norway is preventing her from listening to the Lunsby show. That's what she believes. Because for some reason, she doesn't have internet, but she does. I can see that. You're right over there. Oh, I got a bunch of comments. Let's check out the comments real quick. Uh, yes, I agree. We have tequila. Grapefruit is bitter. Yes. Duh. <laughs> really, Brian? It's bitter. Yingling. Uh, I do enjoy yingling. When I am out and about, the, the one I drink the most is yingling. You know, two beer Tony. When I go out, I drink two beers. Usually yingling. I got tricked last weekend into drinking some Blue Moon. Again, citrusy. Beer doesn't need citrus. Unless it's Corona. Then it does. <laughs> uh, you leave me alone. Hey, I got Walt and Eric watching. And, uh, and there's the beautiful Miss uh, Julie. She's watching. All right. So uh, back to... Back to uh, Tegan failing Internet 101. If you, one of my favorite listeners, if you just search the hashtag LUNSB in your internet web searching thing, just do that. You're going to come up with a whole list of, of places where you can listen to the show. I upload them uh, in multiple places. For people like you, or in your situation, or people at work who don't understand podcasts, or understand air quotes, <laughs> uh, search the hashtag L-U-N-S-B, Tegan. Lunsby, you know this. If you search the hashtag, you're going to get like a, a full page of options. Podchaser, Podbean, Apple, uh, Spotify, you name it, it's going to be on there. And... Now, I'll admit, these don't get uploaded as frequently as they should, I think. I get confused. I confuse myself. Oops. You're not supposed to be able to see that. Sorry. You're not supposed to be able to see that. <laughs> I confuse myself sometimes. Every weekend now, in our current op temp, every weekend there should be five videos released in addition to a new show. A new show should come out on Thursday if I'm not smashing the computer, which I almost did last night. Tony smash because uh, I was just so frustrated it has been unplugged and restarted again I had an ugly studio where everything worked I went to make it pretty now nothing works the way it's supposed to and then I had in-studio guest so what does that mean the configuration change everything changes because they're in studio and then I did a video product and that configuration changes so I do this for fun. This is my hobby. This brings me joy and entertainment. I do everything I can to put laughter out into the world. <clears throat> and air. <laughs> Hold on. Mm. Johnny! The internet's a lot of done the internet has done a lot of amazing things for me, and reconnecting me with Johnny Stewart was one of them. And what an awesome cat. And I'm so thrilled that he's here and he's doing well. Uh, Tegan is wah, 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 wah. All right, so you shall do that. Awesome. And then, you know, here's something you don't, you, audience member, don't consider when you talk to me in Chick Brew. And now I'm going to school you as to what it is. You hear something on the show that tickles your funny bone. That's what we live for. That's what we're intending to do. Guaranteed one laugh per hour. We do stuff. We say stuff. You laugh. Bonus. Then you want to tell us that you laughed. We love that too. But you have to understand we need context. Okay? What is fresh in your brain that made you laugh could have happened two weeks ago. And we've probably done two things since then. So when you say... Uh, chicken scratch tickled me. T uh, dingle dangle made me laugh a little or pee my pants. When you say things like, usually the comments are shorter. Like, I cracked up. That was funny. And, and we're just lost in the sauce trying to figure out what was it, when was it that made that person giggle or laugh. So 
give us context. Mr. Stanley, you do an excellent job of that. You let us know, hey, I was working out and almost fell off the treadmill because you guys said gagoolies, and uh, that, that reminded me of something. I have been crafting uh, a new material, and I practiced on somebody today, and I think I've got that down. I think that's going to be really, really neat. Uh, the name of my new special, or my, my comedy special, when, you're, when you do comedy, you think about doing a special, and when you think about doing a special, you'll think about, oh, what's the back set going to look like, and uh, what's the title going to be, and what is the theme, how am I going to roll with that? And I've got a good one, and I'll start releasing tiny bits and pieces of it over time. Anyway, back to videos and a sip. Sip first. There should be five videos released every weekend. On YouTube, you should see The Warno. Ta-da! Not just on Facebook. I take it off of Facebook. I put it up on the YouTubes. The next three, the next four videos you see are products called The Supplemental, The Sunday Supplemental. It's taped live Sunday mornings at 10.30. And when I release that onto the YouTubes or on the Facebooks, initially there's the live video. Then I have to pull that down and hopefully all the audio is working. And then you have the supplemental full. That's all of me. You can have all of me. All my goofiness, all my quirks in between the designated segments. There's three designated segments that I do. Segment number one, the national days of the week. We had some really good ones uh, this week, including Scurvy Awareness Day and No Pants Day, which is today, and I'm not. <laughs> now, Hairstyle Appreciation Day was this week. It's a fun way to commiserate with your coworkers when you know what the National Day of the Week is and you take it to the next level. So we do that, then we do a community service note. Something's going on in the greater Harrisburg metropolitan area. I research it, I find out a little bit about it, I give it some free promo. Hey kids, go do something, all right? And if you've got anything out there that requires some free promo and I can, I can help you, let me know. Of course I will. And then the final portion of the supplemental is This Week in History. And we do that like a game show. Uh, I, uh, I put in a little bit of work, I convert the facts that I'm, I'm aware of into questions, and then I ask the questions, and if you're playing along 10.30 on Sunday mornings, it's fun because some of you are really, really good at trivia or at Googling. You're, 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 you're good at one of those two. Oh, I'm not cheating. Uh, you, you knew Louis Vuitton, the, what, the 16th, some random fact. You knew that? Yeah, sure I did. All right, back over here. Uh, Tegan is taking off her pants. Uh, mother, tell your children not to walk my way. Mother is watching. Not my mother. Mother. Mike Stanley is hilarious. Uh, at time point, hilarious. Yes, if you do that, Tegan, we will always appreciate that. All right. The length of the Warno is one beer. Mmm. And all of you are welcome to stop by T-Bones Bar and have a beer with me, but you can't complain about the beer fridge, all right? I'll work on my DEI fridge. I'll work on it. But when you come here, that's your choices. They're free. Enjoy them. Last week, I got called out because I picked up the cup and I didn't shoot. Timmy, you're right. So not only do you get a free beer from the beer fridge when you show up, we can go someplace and I will buy you a beer because I own you. Who gets to go first? You or me? Who's You, you got the audience versus T-Bone. Who's going first? Who's going first? Okay, okay. You can go first, right? You're my guest. Here we go. I'm rolling for you. You need a six, you need a five, you need a four. You got six, five, four. And... A seven. I need to see decisions being made over here in the comment section. Do you keep the seven? You've got two rolls left. Or do you try to improve the seven to take my dollar? I'll give you a second. Keep it or roll again. Keep it or roll again. I got one for keep it. Oh, one for improve, one for uh, roll again. 
Seven. Johnny says keep the seven. Tegan says roll again. So it's one and one. Tegan and Johnny. I need at least a tiebreaker out there. Here we go. Come on, somebody. I voted recently. I had a good time. When I go places, I like to make people laugh. When I got done voting, I turned around and I started singing, uh, This Is How We Do It. And I was really melodious at that point. And, and the uh, poll takers love me. All right, Ken Mayo is our tiebreaker. He says, keep the seven. So you guys are keeping the seven. I've got three rolls to beat it. You know, we play this game every once in a while. And, well, we pretty much break even every time. Here we go. Need a six, a five, and a four. I got a six. Name of the game, for those of you who don't know, Ship's Captain Crew. It's played with five dice. It's a great drinking game. Six and a five. I need a four and a number higher than a seven. I need a four and a number higher than seven. You win. I lost my dollar. It's a great game. Get yourself a cup and fill it up with some dice. That is it. That has been the Warno. I uh, tell you what I got going on. I need to go and edit, edit a show and get it out to you. And uh, then I need to do the supplemental on Sunday. Sunday supplemental 1030. I'll release the next episode as soon as I get done editing it. Editing, 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 editing. And uh, with that being said, just love one another, you know, and uh, take care of yourself. And uh, remember, just be the best person that you can be. And if you're a great person today, be an even better person tomorrow. Have a wonderful weekend. As they say in Spain, arriba, abajo, e centro, e parentro. Ah, buenas fin semana. Hasta luego.